Algerian diplomats kidnapped on Thursday by unknown gunmen in the city of Gao. The international community is voicing concern over the rise of radical groups in northern Mali. Al-Qaeda in the Islamic Maghreb, or AQIM, Ansaruddin, the movement for monotheism and jihad which is believed to have broken away from AQIM, all are strengthening their grip on the desert towns of Mali. The secular pro-independence national movement for the liberation of Azawad is vowing to crack down on these groups. We need support from the international community and our neighbors to batter Al-Qaeda. Today, the MLNA is the only force capable of fighting Al-Qaeda in Islamic Maghreb. We know the land, it's our home, and we have our lives to protect, the lives of our people. The MNLA says it has no plans to attack Bamako, but remains committed to establish an independent state for the Tuaregs. Here in the capital, West African diplomats still hope to arrange a deal that would ensure the coup leaders step aside in return for the lifting of sanctions. Neighboring countries are threatening to use force if the talks fail. Threatening to use force against the coup leaders may be just a negotiation tactic, but the main issue facing the West African regional bloc ECOWAS and the international community is to restore order before putting boots on the ground to help the Malian army regain control of the areas captured by Tuareg rebels and radical groups. Hashem Al Jazeera, Bamako.